Greetings everyone and welcome back to Two Point Hospital where in this episode we're going to be beginning afresh. Now, of course, we're going to start off with a reception, which means items and not rooms. Uh, now that's, that's a big enough area for a room, that is also a big enough area for a room. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to place this down, possibly even a little bit further back. I don't know. Uh, they'll have to walk past reception, but I guess that's okay. Let's just hope that, generally speaking, our receptionists don't need to uh, linger around. In fact, I'm going to pause it for a moment. Our reception needs an assistant. Yes, yes it does. But, we're not going to give you an assistant just yet. Instead, I would like to have a doctor's office. Now, if I sink this in, I can, I can add a little bit more stuff in here. So I can have a door here. But then, also have like a drinks machine or something there, which would be quite useful. Uh, so let's get in here, we'll have a doctor's uh, desk there, we'll have a weighing scales nearby, so that there's not much walking for those people who do need to be weighed. Pop that there. I don't think it ever actually gets used, or at least I've never seen it be used. We'll add that in there as well. Plant, of course, uh, just slightly on the skew because I, I like them to look a little bit different. If you don't do that, then then things just start looking way too samey for my liking. I have a clock over on this wall that the doctor can see, and only the doctor. Uh, we could unlock a lot of things now. We could get the hand sanitizer, which will increase the uh, overall hygiene. The bookcase reduces boredom. Trophy case increases hospital attractiveness and room prestige. I mean, it's nice. Display skeleton. Now, that will come in handy later on, but... Uh, I think we're going to get a certificate. Increases hospital attractiveness and room prestige. I think this makes a lot of sense. Let's have a, a certificate of excellence for our doctor just to improve and instill in our in our patients a, a sense of, of competence in their medical professionals. Uh, we'll have medicine cabinet over here. I think we'll be fine. That leaves us a lot of room to play around with down here. In fact, I can get another medicine cabinet there. Uh, a bin, perhaps, as well. There we are, that should do. And then on this wall, uh, I'm really tempted to get another poster, honestly. Mm. I've got enough kudosh to buy many things. Uh, maybe a lamp for my doctors. No, the hand sanitizer is going to be. It's, a, it's an expensive one. But it's a super useful one. If you put it at, at every door, then generally people will use it as they're entering or leaving a room. So it does really, really help with germs. Right now, we don't need to worry too much about germs because we're not dealing with any particularly germy patients. But that will change eventually. Uh, so getting that sorted now is just going to be super, super useful. And of course, I'm going to do exactly the same over here, but we're going to have a, a, a complimentary dispenser of of snacks and or drinks so basically snacks over there and drinks over here uh we don't want these rooms to be exactly the same though that irritates me we want we want individuality in these rooms to some degree uh we're gonna have two medicine cabinets and the filing cabinet right there there we go do we want the weighing skills sure we'll have the weighing skills there this time though uh big bin have this Right about there, along with a hand sanitizer. I'm getting it all the way up towards three very quickly here. Um, this can go over on this wall this time. Along with, you know what, I'll, I'll let the patient see the clock for once. There we are. And once again, I do like everything being on the rug. Uh, a certificate as well, naturally. And just so that our patients have something to look at whilst they're being weighed, we'll pop a poster right there. Uh, is there anything else we need? I don't think so. Maybe a couple of plants. Perhaps one there. And perhaps just one about here. Sure, that'll do. Lovely. Prestige 3 room as well. Now then, the snacks. We want snacks over here. We want drinks over here. And that's wonderful. Then we can get a couple of benches. We'll, we'll need a decent amount, I think. Uh, because we are obviously having our doctors. Hmm, that's a little bit tight, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit. Uh, let's move these around a little bit then. I guess we can just have 
four benches, which means eight people can sit. It's going to be more than eight people there. Let's let's be perfectly honest with ourselves. Uh, we'll have a plant there that actually covers quite a big uh, amount of the uh, potential uh, places where people are going to be stood around here. Actually, That's, that works out well. We'll also get a big bin on this side. Uh, maybe actually have the bin down here, just kind of nestled in there. Yeah, sure. And a no, we can't have that one in there. Okay, we'll have the fire extinguisher over here, just for. The sake of, of people's peace of mind and also have a post there. There we go. That'll do. Right, let's get some people in here and then we'll uh, unpause the game for a bit. Now then. Uh, your funny, inspiring thinks they aren't photogenic. Ah, I don't know why. Uh, sure. You are hired. We will also hire two doctors straight away. Now, your inspiring laughs with not at... What a lovely, lovely bit of just fluff text. I like you. Stamina training, diagnosis, treatment, and motivation. You're actually a really good doctor. Uh, who we got down here? Hangry, but inspiring. Founding member of Hogsport Grammar School Limerick Society. They get around, don't they? Natural mentor. Ooh, now that's good. Whizzes through any syllabus, plus 50% teaching speed. But you're a little bit less happy than usual. You only become nasty when you're hungry. Uh... We're actually going to go, you appreciate a glass of something. Oh, that's fine. We'll just try and keep you happy. But you're a blank slate that we can develop. So let's get you going. Now, next thing we're going to want is the more obvious thing, which would be a uh, pharmacy. So let's get that going. And we might even have room for two such buildings around here. So uh, let's plan for that, shall we? Got a pharmacy in here. We want a decent amount of medication. And this time, can we squeeze this in between? I imagine we can. Sure. I mean, because coffee is basically a sort of medicine. There we are. Uh, get a nice little plant there. Uh, we are going to want a fire extinguisher in this room. Honestly, unlike the original uh, Dream Hospital, that is. Uh, the original. Uh, I feel that... Perhaps having multiple fire extinguishers isn't as necessary. You do seem to need to replace them after they've been used, but it appears that you don't need to worry as much about them in terms of having multiples. Because in Theme Hospital, the more fire extinguishers you had in the room, the less likely something was to blow up. But here, they, they literally is a fire, and they go in, grab the fire extinguisher, and put it up. Cheery headlines and positive articles. I think funny, hungry, positive, here. believes because all lucky numbers are actually unlucky in some news. kind of cosmic joke. I like that. 24 hours a day. You are hired. Enjoy. This is two, two point radio. Now, let's get the important things over here. Uh, I would actually like this to be a... We can make this work, actually. Yeah, sure, okay. Let's do this. We'll have a door right there. And, of course, golden toilet. Ah, they cost ridiculous amounts. Reduced toilet need. And reduced toilet need. That's just the, the regular thing, but they are worth a lot. So the hospital's value goes up a lot as well. And as you can see, they make the prestige of the room rather high. Despite the fact that, in my personal opinion, a golden toilet is ridiculously gaudy. It's not something I would want. Uh, I'll have a, uh, a certificate. Uh, yeah, this this toilet has been has uh, been awarded the certificate of having been cleaned recently. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that is going to hold true more often than not. Uh, and also two hand dryers if we can fit them Portion. in. Always yes, proceed. we can. Portion. Marvelous. We'll get a plant in the middle there. Uh, or maybe just one. Of the, no, we'll go for a middle plant, something like this. Right there. And a light header poster as well. There we go. That is a very expensive room. That is more expensive than quite a lot of my treatment rooms. Ah, right. Okay. One of our patients, Chuck Roadkill, has been sent to all of our diagnosis rooms. Get patient to wait. Just a moment. We'll get your general diag up and running. There we are. Right here. Uh... Sure, and then the examination date. This is a much smaller room than I usually make. Now, this should illustrate one of the, the points that I've, I've made, in that a smaller room 
is harder to get a high prestige on. Just the room size itself generates prestige. We'll have that there in a... Well, we'll actually have a plant right here, I think. Do we want a coffee machine? Yes, obviously. What a silly question. Uh, we'll have a clock. There we go. Can we get this room up to a full prestige? We might be able to. Let's get that about there. Sure. Yeah, up to three prestige. Very nice. Very nice indeed. There you go. All right, hopefully you can make your way down there. We can upgrade our drug mixer. It is true. Uh, of course, would help if I had some janitors first. Uh, you can do both, and you're general. You're generally dubious. To get back to work. I mean, I need you, so you're hired. But generally dubious, really already. Uh, how about you? Short temper asks for steak. Well done, That's because they diagnosis. don't want it done badly. I'm afraid I can't. No, no, I just no. Uh, a literal janitor? No. We'll we'll just. Hopefully make it with one for now. Uh, let's get some benches then. I can need one there and one there for definite. Uh, let's get a magazine rack in the middle maybe. And a plant here. And then let's this go for a bin on the other side. Really? This doesn't sound like Nigel Bickleworth. Fear not, faithful listeners. Your favorite radio personality, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, is back. Uh. As much as I would like to quit this infernal booth forever, I just cannot deprive you of my wit. I take the responsibility of being your only source of oh intellectual stimulation very seriously indeed. More instantly forgettable melodies coming up would next. Ah, uh, I know what happened. Oh. I need to drop you da down so that you'll decide where to go on your own. I think by putting them in there, I basically said, Yo, this is your job. Keep doing it until you need to go on a break. There we go. That's quite nice there. Very, very nice indeed. All right. Now, with that going, we should be able to put together a little staff room. Where are you, staff room? There we go. I'm sure we'll, we'll make it a similar shape as well. Uh, there we are. We want plenty of wind. I wish I could put the windows in the middle. I really do. I can't. It's most vexing. Uh, put a window down there. It's going to be a, a teeny staff room for now. We'll have a coffee table in the middle. Uh, let's get a nice rug. There's the rug. There we go. All oh, that. Wow. That actually feels... Like... Everything is in its right place. This little little spot was designed specifically for that. My lord. Uh, we'll have a coffee machine just about there. Sure. Um, we do want some snacks in here. Let's get cheesy gubbins right there. Add a bin, of course. Uh, right. Anything else for this room? Um, we could do with a couple of, of bean bags. Maybe a television, perhaps. Uh... Arcade unit would be grand. I don't think there's much else to unlock in here, though. Uh, we could grab the television. Sure, all right then. You can have a TV. And what's more, you can have it right there. And then we'll have two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put that there, and then we're gonna have to move this one elsewhere. That'll do. There you go. A wee staff room. Right. Ward required. Yes, we can have you wait. Uh, di uh, illness, verbal diarrhea has been discovered. The uh, disease people can't stop talking about. Verbal diarrhea spreads fast. We can, uh, can be heard for miles. It's going to be treated in the pharmacy, hopefully soon. But we clearly need a new nurse. Pharmacy, morning uh, nurse. Ty easily thinks you can never really know. Gets toilet rage. Thinks cartoons are good. Uh, inspiring. The girl next door, high energy. Likes to take the stairs. Ah, oh, I approve. Go, go, go. We will get this done. Let's uh, pause time though. I haven't got long to deal with this room and I tend to like to spend a bit more time on building my wards, if I'm honest. Uh, okay, we'll make a smaller ward for now. Now, the trick with the ward is that the door is generally quite large so you can't just squeeze it in. I think I might be able to, let's have a look. No, you can't. Much sadness there, much sadness. 
Uh, we could, however, shrink this room down. No, I think having a large room is probably a better idea. Let's pop you in there. All right, let's get you on the go. I'm delighted right, there to we'll say do. I will be giving a lecture at our local university on the topic of pretentiousness, namely I how to can do think it of correctly. No one better. Perhaps my contribution will put a halt to the alarming decline in educational standards in our community. I wouldn't bank on it, but sure. Right, you can actually have your beds like this. And another thing I discovered is uh you can also have beds right up, like, zigzagging, and they can walk between them. But we'll just settle this. It's a reasonably large ward, actually. I'm quite impressed with what I've managed to squeeze in there. Uh, right, we'll get a, a plant about here, sure. And let's see. Let's get some uh, nurse cabinets. Just one about down there, I think, should be okay. So uh, make sure this is nice and slow. That will do. For now. Is being taken for there we go. That's a uh, they've exhausted all of the Thank forms you. of diagnosis, but we've got a new form of diagnosis. Hurrah for us, nurses. I mean, I wouldn't mind. Don't want someone with toilet rage, though. You're so expensive, though, and you've got just a, uh, a real mixture of skills. All right, we'll take you. Staff promotion. Joey Fast is ready for promotion from student nurse to junior nurse. Uh, I approve. In fact, we'll give you a bit of a an extra tip there. There we go. Training license. Great news. The Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a training license. This will allow us to train staff in all of our hospitals. Building a training room allows you to tra uh, run a training course. Staff with a free training slot can go on a course to learn a new qualification. Now that is going to become a humongous part of what we do here. We're going to want to start that early. Oh no, clowns! Plottering has had a bit of a problem recently. Clowns. They're everywhere. Apparently they keep escaping from the traveling circus. Their hijinks can be a real nuisance. We'll need some new equipment to deal with them. The Orb Foundation has a patented method for recalibrating the minds of clowns, supporting their rehabilitation back into society. They have offered to supply us with the necessary equipment if we can demonstrate our ability to mold our own staff. Sounds a bit sinister to me, but who am I to judge? Uh, well, you know, you're, you're as capable of making a judgment as anyone else. And we'll get another plant just down here to try and... Mm, doesn't quite reach it, does it? I could squeeze these up next to each other, though, if I wanted to, and then move this down. Yeah, that'll do. And then we can get a little magazine rack so people can be entertained while they're waiting for the, the ward. All right, things are coming together. Slowly, but surely, I feel. Ooh. Challenges online, there's some challenges. Organization challenges. Compete with other healthcare organizations in a range of timed challenges. Earn extra rewards and bragging rights by triumphing over your rivals. Take on rival organizations from Tupon County or challenge hospitals owned by your steam friends. Each challenge takes place over a number of months. You can compete at the same time as your rivals or at separate times, and your results are recorded by the Two Point Competition Committee. You'll receive updates throughout the challenge on how each participant was doing at that stage of the competition. Now, these can be done in um, non-real time, basically. Um, so, for example, Leon has done the challenge 23 hours ago, did uh, this particular challenge. Um, so the queue challenge, the amount of queues. There's no point in me taking the challenge right now because I haven't got a fully functioning hospital. But the result was um, at each like day, it was recorded how many queues they had. So there is a timeline, like, like a chronologically accurate timeline of how that challenge went. And uh, so if we were to take the challenge, we would see in real time as um, Leon was doing at the same point in, in progress through the challenge. All right, we want a training room. That is true. Please, please recover at home. We're going to make a fairly decent sized In today's guide training to good room. manners, I would there like to go. turn my attention to the selection and drinking of wine. If you are wine? the type that is content to swill the house red, whatever that may be, you have no place in a fine establishment. More than anything, however, you must remember that one never spits out wine in a restaurant. You no. would be surprised how many do. There we go. Let's get... A good number of training spots. Now, realistically, we are almost certainly not going to use this many um, seats. 
Four is probably a better number, and then having multiple um, multiple training rooms, so you can ha run different courses. Because the the thing with training is that only one course at a time, so you need everyone in the training uh, room to be learning that one particular qualification. And some um, some types, uh, for example, doctors can't learn to catch ghosts, so on and so forth. And not everyone is going to have a training opportunity. So six is probably a bit of overkill, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll pop this down there as well. We do want to unlock a few things if we can here. Uh, is, can we unlock any of the... Ah, oh, we can't. We've spent far too much. Far, far too much. Uh, training speed. No, no, we can get an anatomy poster. I accept. Let's get one there. We'll get another one over here for our lecturer to point at. And such. Will this affect it? No, it does not. Much sadness for me. Uh, Alright, well, that's reasonably okay. Uh, I put another anatomy poster there until we can get some more types of posters in here. There we go. Good enough room. It's prestige four, so our staff will be quite happy while they're there. To start a training course, click on a lectern or drop a suitable member of staff into the room. Uh, let's see, in the training screen, select the qualification you want the staff to learn, assign a trainer, select the staff you wish to send on this course. We will do that. Training required. Uh, Branwen Skiver has gained lots of experience on the job. They'll be ready for promotion to junior doctor once they've completed some training. A new qualification will give them increased abilities. Excellent. We want you to be trained. Now, currently, you have no qualifications. What I want you to do is general practice. I want you to just be good at, at diagnosing people. Now, we've got no one who's currently trained for that. So, Dr. E. Huggles, guest trainer, will be arriving shortly. But uh, before we do that, actually, let's go and see if there's any other doctors I can pick. Wow, you're good. Positive talks at just the right volume. You're hired. You're hired. You're hired. You're hired. You're hired. Get to work. Um, however, how about you? Cheese for brains. Uh, you learn slower. Now, I don't believe that trains, that's learning. They generate like experience slower. That means you. And you don't have a free training slot, so there's no point. Now, let's actually have a look at my staff in general. What are my doctors like? Only one person has any training slot availability. Well, it is a shame, but it is what we're going to do. So, let's get uh, to general practice. Guest training. Oh, well, actually, I could get Dr. Rory Dogflood to train but i would actually like you active now these do stack general practice too means that uh, this doctor is 30 percent better at diagnosing um what's wrong with someone just from going to the general practice so that's fantastic now this is going to cost me a fair bit so it's fifteen thousand hospital bucks but dr branwin skiva at the end of it will be better at being a gp now on that note uh ooh, psychiatry required well, we do need one. Uh, let's get the patient to wait. Uh, no, we're not going to take an emergency. That being said, do we... Oh, no, we do not. We have no one who can do that. Ah, my bad. Super my bad. I'm afraid you're going to have to go home. Until we've got someone trained to do psychiatry. Sorry. I really do feel bad about that. Super bad. But better than you just hanging around. I only want you doing... G uh, general practice. Once you're done, you can also do general practice. You can do everything else. Actually, you need to be on general practice for now. Sorry. I don't need to diagnose the patient with pandemic. Well, that is good. Um, but go home for now, because we're not going to be up to that just yet. Let's just focus on people who need, uh, need, um, pharmaceutical curing. I think that would be the better way. Uh, we're going to need another assistant, though. Litera and hygienic hangry thinks their life is a rom-com, was raised on a farm. That's lovely. Funny, has potential. Yes. There you go. Get to work. Please and thank you. All right, we're probably going to have a news agent somewhere around here, I'm imagining. Also, we're quite far away from the nearest drink. So, let's get a burp set up there. There we go. Have we got plenty of literature? Yes, we do. Uh, we'll pop down a poster or two, though, just to make the place look a little nicer. There we go. Right, let's go back to my actual objectives, a train a staff member. Once we're done there, we're going to unlock the clown clinic. 
Now, how much does the expansions cost? 40, 50. I could demolish all their houses for 50. And all their houses for 30. I'd rather not if I could avoid it. Uh, go ahead and be treated for mystery cats, please, and thank you. All right, there's no point in us building a psychiatric ward yet because we cannot actually treat anyone in it. Which is a pain. Quite a dire pain, actually. Uh, funny, part-time living room gymnast. You can learn really, really well. An hygienic high energy doing them. Uh, okay. Charming, moonlight as a patient. Um, I actually find that funny. Uh, sure, you can be hired. Staff challenge from Brandon Skiva. Have you considered promoting some of our staff? I, I'll be promoting you shortly, so sure, I'll take, accept that challenge. I think that'll be a pretty solid one, honestly. Now, I guess we could put down some uh, additional diagnosis rooms. It's going to make this area a bit of a mess, I'll be honest, but uh, we can at least try. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone with... Uh, who needs the deluxe you clinic, so... Nigel sure, we'll go with cardiology On for now, then. Point radio. The Orb Foundation's healthcare division is nothing but a load of hocus-pocus hogwash, mm. if you ask me. You could it actually fit a, a brain decent amount surgeon in here. to see the only thing they're good at is brainwashing. I... Honestly, I wouldn't mind getting my brain washed now and then. It sounds like it would be quite pleasant. Uh, just don't use soap. That's all I ask. Uh, right, let's get this pop down. And we should be able to get these in place. There we go. A bin over here along with a hand sanitizer. A coffee machine, naturally. And sure, we'll pop a little plant there. And a plant over in this corner as well. Chair right next to the coffee machine. And a clock, I suppose. I like the way you can fit the clock just up in the top there. Pop a certificate on the wall so that uh, our patients have something to look at while they're on the uh, heart racer. And I believe uh, we'll get a wing skin. Right as well as... Well, actually, no, we won't. There's not much room. I suppose we can over here, though. All right. There we go. Done and done. Now... What have we got down here? Psychiatry. I'm afraid you're going to have to go home until we can train someone in, in uh, psychiatry. We're almost done with our training here, though. Fantastic, Branwen. Now, we're going to try and keep on top of this as much as we can, keeping our staff trained up in uh, general practice. Staff promotion. There we go. Let's get you promoted, Branwen. There we are. I believe... Branwen, do you have an extra training slot? Wow. So... With that, did we already unlock the clown clinic? Oh, I believe that by having them trained at all, we should have unlocked the clown. Yes, we did. Ah, it's going to make me sad to build this. Really well. Unfortunately, we can't even fit it in there because I made that too big now. Damn, if only I'd known. Well, I guess I did know that this was going to be a good Shush. None of your sass. Uh, we can, however, make it a gigantic room if we really want to. I'd have to move the door here in order to facilitate that. But this place is going to have clowns as a bit of a constant problem. So I guess we might as well do that. Uh, all right. So we're going to want to move these around. You're going to have to go for a second. Go. There you are. And swap these. I'm going to move the hand sanitizer across. I prefer to have the hand sanitizer next to the door. And yeah, we're not going to be able to have one of these now. Okay, you're just going to have to have no windows. Sorry, there's a room with no windows. Not something I usually like to make, but... Now, I don't mind having the clown clinic built like this, simply because the clown clinic is such an interesting room that I enjoy decorating. But this is a... This is a big waste of space. I'm not going to paint it as anything other than it is, and it is a waste of space to have a room this gigantic. Well, you know, what can you do? All right, there we go. So, we need the clown tent. And because I don't want to... Uh, can I fit that over here at all? Yeah, I can. 
<sighs> it makes me sad seeing this machine get used. Look, I just wanna... Ah, uh, I can't afford any of the decorations. Oh, that's annoying. We'll get them eventually, though. And once we do, we'll make the room look normal from the outside. The clowns, unsuspecting, will waltz in, thinking it's gonna be uh, just a, a, another diagnosis room. Then they're gonna see all of the fun toys, and they're gonna lead them like a breadcrumb trail all the way over to this thing. And they go, ah, Clown Ted, this is amazing. And the, the uh, doctor's gonna usher them in with smiles and, and evil in their hearts. And then when they're in, it's too late, they're trapped. <sighs> Why am I making this easier? On my doctors to do evil. I don't know. Uh, right. Uh, want? I would love a clown poster in here, frankly, but I'm not sure I'm going to get one of those. Uh, let's see. Where is a seat? Let's get the seat. No, we'll pop it. We'll just tuck it in around here. I think. Sure. Sure. That actually looks nice. I really have no kudos. This is depressing. Uh, we'll pop this over here. Because that's where uh, our evil staff are going to be lingering the most. And then we'll get the rest of this place all decked out properly in time. I could drop a couple of extra things in just in order to get the the prestige up for the time being. And I guess I'm not against this idea. Uh, I would rather have... Oh, pop clock there, sure. I'd rather have things that actually perform some sort of purpose, uh, some sort of function, but we'll just get up to a prestige roll. There we go. It is done. There's no forgiveness for what we're about to do to these poor clowns. None. No forgiveness. No room for forgiveness. We are evil, evil people. Let's pop these down. Uh, let's at least give them something to read while they wait for doom. And a plant as well. Actually, let's put another plant there. We, we w want them not to, to... Look, they're going to be declowned, okay? At least they don't have to be declowned full of terror. But let's, let's, make, let's, let's make the experience less terrifying for them by making it look nice and bright and lovely. <sighs> okay, let's have, let's have a watch, shall we? I'm so sorry for what's about to happen to you. See? All smiles. It's like, ah, this is amazing. Oh, full over. Go on, step in, have fun. And then, yes, it's a trap all along. Nothing is funny in this world. Life is pain. Get used to it, clown. I hope you don't feel satisfied with this. I hope you don't. No, no, this is not a thumbs up situation. You should feel terribly, terribly bad that you're allowing yourself to get paid to do something like this, you scallywag. Uh, uh, you can go home for now. A new illness discovered, a monobrow. Extreme hair growth caused by excessive consumption of both highbrow and lowbrow entertainment. Oh, great. We're gonna have monobeasts crawling all over the place. Oh, well, there's not a lot we can do about it. Uh, I would, however, like to get a news agent just out here. Just outside the ward, you know. Makes sense, actually, in a way, because uh, people will want to be visiting the the family and such, and we can pop into uh, to the uh, news agents on the way in. There we are. They pick up some gifts that you didn't actually pick up beforehand because you you didn't even think about it. And then thought, ah, oh, actually, uh, I I probably should bring some sort of gift or something. I I, I don't really like them, but uh, they're in a hospital, so let's not make this any worse than it has to be. This is this has sapped away all of my faith in humanity. This is what happens when you start robbing clowns of their humor. It's a slippery slope, ladies and gentlemen. Very slippery. Uh, where's the nearest? No, nah, yeah, food is quite far is away. So, sure, let's get cheesy gubbins right about there, along with a bin. There we go. That should be good. I wouldn't mind making it a bit nicer around here, though, if I could. Uh, plant right there should do. Roach we'll get some seating in there, maybe. In Bay. But now, that's going to be it, I think. Your extra crunchy burgers without leaving the comfort of your car. And remember, so well. order more than ten Roach Burgers and get a free Road Shake. Roach, Roach I, I don't want a free Road Shake, though. 24 hours a day. Um, this well, we could get Branwen trained in psychiatry, I suppose. Or I could get Branwen trained even more in general practice and i think that would be marvelous so let's get that happening general practice to 
We're gonna have to get uh, E Huggles. Now this one's gonna cost a lot more, or I could use Dr. Rory Dog Fled. I'm going. To, oh, it's 20k though. But they'll be trained. They'll they'll be so good at doing their job, and we won't have humongous queues. It'll be grand. Like look at that diagnosis plus 80 percent. Ah, so good. And staff promotion for one of our nurses. Excellent. Let's get you promoted, shall we? There you go. Uh, we've only got a little bit of time to get uh, another promotion on the go, though, which is a bit of a shame. Diagnosis, 64% there. Not bad. Not bad. We're doing we're doing okay, I think. We're, we're getting there. But that's going to be it for this episode. We're robbing clowns of their happiness, and uh, we shouldn't feel good about this. But we will make this place a, a little bit nicer with time as well. Was that, was that a monobeast? Did I just spot a monobeast? Monobeast? No. No monobeast. Okay, fair enough. That's fine then. But uh, there's our, our trainee, uh, sorry, our trainer, our guest trainer on their way in there. But that's going to be it. I really hope you've enjoyed the episode and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.